Boss God was handing. Jamar, it's finally over, bro. We got Logan Paul in the face of the thumbnail. Let's go. So it has been a full calendar year since CoffeeZilla threw out the blue shell of justice on Logan Paul right as he was about <laughs> to hit that finish line. You know, when he exposed him for creating and promoting his project CryptoZoo. Yeah. Today we're investigating Logan Paul's CryptoZoo, a blockchain game that made millions but never worked. Some of you guys think you know the story, but it goes so much deeper. I've uncovered sociopaths, billionaires, fake <laughs> orphans. And of course, at the center of it, we have Logan Paul himself who has abandoned this thing, leaving thousands of fake orphans in his wake. To run it down real quick, because it has been a while, back in 2021, Logan Paul launched CryptoZoo, yeah. a crypto NFT quote-unquote game Two years, that involved bro. buying egg. No, he's at 21. Bro, three years, bro. What? that would hatch into new animals which were really just already existing animals fused together Sheesh. like they had some sort of sick mating ritual to me this all <laughs> sounds like the idea of a man who was on a lot of and people were actually <laughs> stupid enough to buy into this project with some of them even investing millions of dollars into these eggs i lost around fifty thousand dollars in cryptos bro i know there's i know it's a big risk investing in crypto in general bro but it's like I don't know, dog. I just, it's too new. You know what I'm saying? Compared to like regular stocks or, you know, bonds or other investment things, bro. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know, bro. I put a couple dollars into Bitcoin. That's about it. You know I'm saying everything else I invest in, like, I invest in stocks, and shit, bro. But I don't know. I don't know. I just, I can't. Me personally, I just can't do that risk, bro. Take that risk on crypto. I don't know. I lost forty thousand dollars. I lost around fifteen thousand US dollars. I lost twenty five thousand dollars. One hundred twenty thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars Australian, which is half a million in crypto. Zoo. I guess in their defense, it was like the <laughs> NFT slash crypto gold rush. NFTs too, like, and I, I don't know, bro. I don't think I'll ever invest in an NFT dead ass because it's like. Fucking, like, and a lot of what clowns picture, lost bro? a lot of money buying PDFs. In the end, it seemed like Logan did a terrible job in vetting the team he hired to create this project, and multiple people working on CryptoZoo had a track record of being involved in crypto rug pools, including guys on the finance side. It was sloppily thrown together, it reportedly didn't work as intended, many people could never hatch their investment, and investors were seriously pissed off. I think everyone it is to blame, including Logan Paul of course, because he was the, the one in charge of this and he was responsible for all the, all of this mess each one of them scammed the project in their own way and then and then off off to the sunset they went and then this project Sheesh. was literally abandoned with all the idiots who bought it left in the dark even worse loken was <laughs> rubbing a new nft project right in their face called 99 originals which in his words was an art piece nft that was apparently more important than anything he had ever done 99 originals it'll be 99 photos that i take every day over the course of 99 days an artistic journey actual art i can't stop thinking it's the only thing i care Each about Each picture is an nft it all ties to my entire life so the coffeezilla video drops and Logan then has the audacity to post a now deleted response video. Yeah. I watched a three part series called Investigating Logan Paul's Biggest. He deleted it, bro. I don't know. That kind of, that, that makes you look more sus, bro, deleting that shit. You know what I'm saying? Scam. And like many on this platform, you have successfully used my name for views and money. Where he threatened to sue CoffeeZilla for everything he has. And you still published a defamatory hit piece fully knowing I was innocent just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. Said some narc shit about Steven's background. CoffeeZilla tried to work with law enforcement in the past, but his work was described as not anchored to truth and often speculative. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the Keemstar of crypto and finance. It made it seem like he was 100% in the clear. Not Keemstar catching strays, bro. Here when it came to CryptoZoo. Pretty much throwing everyone else who worked on the project under the bus. Like, oh yeah, I hired these felons, but I didn't expect them to actually commit a crime. He then later would delete this video, post an apology, 
and vowed to pay everyone back for his game that never worked. Three years, buddy. I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. Um, there's a full. I never scammed anybody with this project. Notice how he specified this project. <laughs> that makes you question what what have you scammed, huh? What have you done in the past or are doing now or give me? It's just how people word it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Again, um, I think I said this at one of one of the videos I reacted to. Pretty sure from Jamari or somebody else. Um he was, you know, the biggest faced face in it you know maybe it was his idea or maybe he was just there promoting it or whatever have you but it's like what if he i don't know bro i don't know the details to it honestly i could care less bro because i'm not involved in that hopefully everybody gets paid their money back you feel me but it's like he was involved but what if he didn't know that they were on some scam and shit you know what i'm saying because, you know, you work with other people. You just don't really know the true intentions of people. You know what I'm saying? It could be a business partner. It could be your family, bro. You, you have, you're running a family business and you don't know, you know, what your sister's doing behind your back. Or your mom. You feel me? Like, you just never know, bro. Internal investigation going on along with an audit. And we are going to pursue full legal action for whomever needs to be held accountable. Thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this. And I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And after a year of basically radio silence, he has now come forward to announce the program for some of these investors to get their money back, saying that he never made any money from the project and that he will now commit $2.3 million towards repayments, going on to say that the project was derailed by bad actors who did steal money, you know, who he hired. Let me, let me read it. Incredibly happy to announce that I am delivering on my promise to buy back base egg and base animal crypto zoo nfts for their original price purchase price this buyback program is being carried out by egg nft buyback.com claims can be submitted through this site through february 8th these investors to get their money back saying they are pros to crypto zoo probably like everything else i am passionate about with only the best possible intention of success for everyone who shared our vision i never made a single penny from the project uh, the opposite is true because I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to make it happen with this buyback program. I am personally committed more than 2.3 mil to buy back base eggs, base animals, return it to crypto. So like he was highly disappointed. That okay. He never made any money from the project and that he will now commit $2.3 million towards repayments. Going on to say that the project was derailed by bad actors who did steal money you know, who he hired, and even going as far to say that he would be suing these men who did him wrong. And then he just goes on and on and on trying to cover his ass, and in the end it seemed like he was really just not equipped to understand what he was actually doing in this situation. <laughs> it would be like a movie star trying to build a roller coaster park or some shit. You'd be so clueless you probably would not even know who to hire. And the fact that Logan was so set on this being some massively successful venture is hilarious. He really thought this was going to be groundbreaking. Like, I just know that I love it. Yeah. My developer and team, my developers and my team love it. Who loves it most? The kids. I think that's the uh, the most important thing we're doing. Kids are going to care about the blockchain because of my project. That's incredible. Yeah. Ma imagine your first experience on the blockchain is with CryptoZoo. And I want to make it clear the specific people who he will be refunding are the ones who purchased the base animals or base eggs. Basically telling the zoo token crowd to eat shit. Claim what if they don't have the tokens or whatever they bought? The base eggs. What if they don't have it? If that can even go away, I don't know. Payments will receive 0.1 Ethereum per eligible NFT, known as base eggs and base animals. Players were supposed to be able to breed the animals that they hatched from the base NFT that they purchased, which would create hybrid animals that were also NFTs. Hybrid animals are not eligible for the buyback program. This, this looks stupid, bro. What is this? What is this, bro? To be very clear, this is nowhere close to everyone who got scammed into buying the project as a whole. I assume this might be what Logan is legally obligated and binded to, is like this portion of CryptoZoo, so now he will do the refund to smartly cover his ass, in my opinion. Because looking deeper into the terms and conditions of this buyback program, 
people grew very skeptical as receiving this money would completely leave you incapable of ever suing Logan over this in the future. By accepting these terms, you acknowledge and agree that you are waiving any actual or anticipated claims against Paul, as well as against any related personnel, affiliates, agents, partners, employees, service providers, or representatives for monetary or equitable relief arising out of or in connection with CryptoZoo. Including but not limited to this buyback, your purchase of the Zoo tokens or your purchase of any CryptoZoo NFT, you further acknowledge that the buyback does not constitute an admission by Paul of your legal entitlement to any amounts, nor does it constitute an admission of any responsibility in connection with any actual or anticipated claims relating to CryptoZoo. So basically he said here Here's your point one ETH, now get the hell out! And now simultaneously during all of this, there is a class action lawsuit he is dealing with right now for this very same situation. So many people out there are really questioning if he has some sort of ulterior motive, you know, beyond just making things right, correcting his wrongs. And it seems like things are really heating up when it comes to the whole class action lawsuit. This is actually an attorney who is apparently working on the team that's going against Logan Paul in that situation. And yesterday he posted this video talking about some of the discrepancies that he has with Logan's new buyback program. What's going on y'all, attorney Tom here. As many of y'all know, my legal team and I, we are the lawyers suing Logan Paul and the rest of the defendants in the CryptoZoo class action lawsuit. And today's video is actually an emergency update requested by a number of our clients regarding the Logan Paul CryptoZoo buyback. But we decided to make this video public because we think it's important for all the CryptoZoo victims out there to understand what is going on because- Question, point zero point one ethereum that's what it said they're getting back that's not even enough of what they paid right that's more or less of what they pay bro i don't know in my opinion i think this buyback is a sneaky trick and i wish i could say i'm surprised by the actions of the defendant but i'm not Hello? so he's saying that he still thinks Logan's on some sneaky shit some cover my ass type beat and I do have to say at this point, just based on his character that he's shown, if I had to choose between, oh, is Logan doing the right thing or is he covering his ass? Uh, he's probably covering his ass. This buyback is for base eggs and base animal crypto zoo NFTs. Only the NFTs, only the base NFTs, not the zoo tokens or the hybrids. Now, why is this important? This is important because if you decide to do the buyback, there are terms and conditions in that buyback. This is only a buyback for the NFTs at their mint price, at a lower price of Ethereum, uh, today than it was when you bought it but you're also yeah. waiving your rights to pursue exactly zoo token i mean yeah you have to think that a lot of people who were investing into the base nfts were also going to be investing into other elements of crypto zoo like the tokens yeah. or breeding the animals together so for a lot of those people they're probably just going to get a very small portion of their investment back this buyback is not intended to compensate those who gambled on the crypto market and lost, referring to the Zoo token. It's important to remember that Zoo token was created to support the crypto Zoo game and its players. It was not intended as an investment vehicle. Mind you, Zoo token, the founders assigned themselves billions of these Zoo tokens. They attempted to yep. pay service providers, developers in Zoo tokens, allegedly. Allegedly, they uh, bought Zoo token at an artificially low price because they stealth launched it, meaning they stealth launched the game to themselves, but not yep. the public, so they could yep. buy it up at a low price. Um, They sure acted, in my opinion, like Zoo token was an investment vehicle. Zoo token, there was billions of dollars in trading volume in Zoo token, yet for their NFT buyback, they have no problem getting people to waive their claims <laughs> for Zoo token. I would have loved if Logan... That boy spitting that real talk, boy. Because, bro, crypto crypto NFTs, bro, the value of that goes up and down, bro. Look what happened to Doge, and that shit went viral. And now that shit completely dead. You know what I'm saying? Look at Bitcoin. I think it back in 2020, bro, wasn't that shit at, like, 65K? One Bitcoin was worth that much, and then now it's down to, like, 30, 40-ish K, something like that? I don't know. It's just, like when they bought it it was probably worth more or less than what it is now bro and it's like they're not getting full compensation at least i don't think that's what it sounds like came forward and said here's the refund no strings attached start recouping some of your losses to our victims while we pursue the zoo token aspect right but no he has to try and put strings attached and this just it just feels dirty it feels deceptive i mean i feel like legally loken would just never do that and i'm just worried that a victim out there who has one NFT and $5,000 of Zoo token or $1,000 of Zoo token or $10,000 or $100,000, whatever it is, they're going to get their $200 refund for their NFT. And as a result, the rest of their claim is going to be waived. I yep. mean, if that's the situation you're in and you make yet another mistake 
and kind of like waive all your rights to that extra money, then you're just doubly stupid. Like you're already <laughs> dumb enough to invest in this bullshit, you know. Nah, right? This is so stupid. All right, so now the question is. Should people just wait and not do anything because they have until February 8th? Because, I mean, as little as an amount that they might be getting compared to what they actually spent, bro. Like, the example he gave, they spent thousands, but they're only getting 200. Boy, I want my full refund. All right? And it's like, if they... I'm sure a lot of people jumped on this and, like, wanted their money back, but... Because a lot of people don't read the fine print. The people don't read the terms and conditions of things and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Ah. You know, a shark mixed with a bear. It's the next big thing, I swear. Or how about a turtle mixed with a hare? Like, in all seriousness, <laughs> though, yes, Loken should pay these people back because they invested in something that never even really worked. But I can also see where he'd be like, oh, I'm only responsible for X amount because that's what my lawyers told me. Okay, that's what they're gonna get. Because for Logan at that point in his life, I think he was like so fixated on becoming a billionaire. I believe he said that multiple times. And this was before like Prime had really hit it big. I think they were just in talks for that deal where he received his percentage in that. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy about Sign 2, bro? I said this before. P the richest people will do anything and everything to make more money, bro, instead of. Do going about things the the good way, the real way, the legit way, the legal way. You know what I'm saying? They're going through all this lawsuit, these lawyers, courts, all of this, right? They're going through all of that shit, bro. They created this project to make money, of course, obviously. All that money they probably made. In the entirety of that project a good amount of money is being put towards all these legal actions all these lawsuits and shit so it's like was it really worth scamming people bro when at the end of it all you were just gonna end up in court and pay all these lawyers and shit to save your ass the money's gone bro you had to pay those people to fight this damn case Probably made a million. Let's who's to say they didn't drop seventy five thousand, seventy five hundred. Who's to say they didn't drop seven hundred fifty thousand on on lawyers and shit, bro? Like, is it really worth it, bro? That company, which has now made him like billionaire status, once they end up getting bought out. And I think now we won't see him doing any more of these experimental projects involving crypto and people's individual finances. Because he got what he wanted, and that's to be involved in a legitimate multi-billion dollar company where he is eventually going to cash out with generational wealth. Combine that with him becoming a fan favorite in the WWE, and it seems like Logan has once again managed to weather the storm and kind of put himself back into a more favorable place when it comes to the general perception from the public. But we're going to see what comes of all of this, okay? I do find it to be an interesting development in this story. I do think that CoffeeZilla is going to come forward with another video soon, so y'all make sure to go check that out. <laughs> of course, let me know what y'all think down below. Of course he is, bro. His video blew up talking about this, you know what I'm saying? It was one of the most mentioned when it came to this whole thing. Yeah, bro. Listen, do everything good. Do everything legit. Stop tr out here trying to do like quick money grabs bro because it's like you end up in situations like this where you gotta fight cases and it's like those that money you made in that project goes to lawyers and now it's like you it's really like you didn't make shit bro you put yourself in this bullshit for absolutely nothing you know what i'm saying <laughs> so weird bro coffee zilla yeah he's definitely gonna drop a video i'm sure it's probably out already who knows um this shit crazy bro it's over until he cons his fans again. Yup, gets discovered again. Apologies, apologizes, and everyone forgets again. Rinse and repeat. Dude's never gonna change. Yo, the craziest thing to me when it comes to Logan is that whole incident he did in Japan, bro. He came back from that pretty much. Like that shit happened. Got all that talk. Went through shit. And look at him now, bro. You know what I'm saying like absurd, bro. Like, if there's one thing I could think of where it's like, how can you possibly come back from that? 
it would be that whole Japan incident, bro. He literally, like, is just forgotten. He's doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, bro. Me, personally, NFTs, cryptos, it's just a risk, bro. People work hard for their money, and it's like, just to make some quick cash, bro, quick bread, it's like, is it really worth it, bro? Because, look, all you getting is $200, and you invested 500000 <laughs> Fuck all that, bro. Stick with old school stocks, S and P, all of that, bro. You know what I'm saying properties, real estate. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> it's like crazy. Let me know what you guys thought. Though that's my reaction. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.